Who is who of the two could either seal the seal eighth um, or take the battle to the last three races in Interlagos? Um, you know, is it is it is it the slightly resurgent Alpine or is it a Williams that's that's just it seems to be just coming slightly off the boil now? Salva for the win. No, um, Salva ain't going to score any points. So <laughs> let's be honest. That's just ah, oh, it's just terrible. Um, I think Williams because Williams have got the points on the board. I, uh, you look. I mean, what were we on our race twenty? There, you look at the average over the season. Yeah, Alpine had a bad start. They had a reasonable kind of midsection, and they've trailed off again. And then Gasly got a point at the weekend. And but they've still averaged. They still over the course of the season, they still averaged like less than way less than a point per race. And the same with Williams. I so to say, oh, if they just score one point per race, I mean, where's that point going to come from? Realistically, the top eight positions are blocked out. So there are only, unless there's someone with a problem, they're not going to, a Williams or an, you could say maybe a Williams on its day might be able to, but an Alpine is not going to beat one of those top eight cars on pace. So that's going to rely on dropouts. Let's be honest, Aston Martin is still a better car than uh, than the Alpine. And you've got the Hasses that seem to be the class of the midfield at the moment. And they, they seem to be in, this, in the resurgence ahead of, Ahead of Aston Martin in the pecking order, I can't see points coming from either of those teams apart from a bit of a bit of uh, marvelous strategy or one of the best drivers to come through the Red Bull Driver Academy uh, pulling out a, a, a great defensive drive. It's uh, it's not. I, I can't see anything coming for either team to be honest, barring you know a, a heroic tenth place. You know, so for me, it's got to be Williams because they're the they're the team that's got the points on the board, and I, I don't think. Now, the only place that could potentially change in the constructors in the bottom half is Haas and RB. But I, even that, I think those those bottom, those basically fourth to tenth are now set in my mind. Um, I don't think there's there's anything uh, anything that could be fought for there now. So uh, for me, it's uh, that that's done and dusted. So it's. Uh, yeah, for me, it's it's Williams eighth place. They'll be happy with that. It's a shame that uh, you know, right at the moment that Williams gets you know actually a load of money pumped into it, um, it comes up against well, thing it, it maybe it couldn't have, have, have foreseen, which is a cost cap. That means that a cost cap and a regulation cycle. That means that everyone's going closing up very very close, and now part, points are more hard fought than ever than ever. Sorry, 